Now, here are my new philosophies and rules at being 50 or almost. Um, the term cougar, I don't like. I don't like the term cougar. I think it's offensive. When a man calls me that, I'm hearing you tell me you can't please me. Because when you date men who are 40 and up, they have adult children. I had one guy kept calling me a cougar. He had a son who was 25 and hot. He was 45. Hey, if you call me a cougar one more time, I'm going to fuck your son. <laughs> OK? I could be your girlfriend or your daughter-in-law. You decide. It's up to you. Just don't call me names. That's all I'm saying. Don't call me names. I realize I don't like uh, adult toy shops in LA compared to here. They are very different, OK? In New York, a sex shop is a secret. You don't tell anybody you're going. You go at midnight, it's in the village, it's on the ground. You gotta wear a ski mask, you gotta have a password, you gotta give a hand stamp, a urine sample. It's fucking private. In LA, these sex shops are glass storefronts, like shoe stores, merchandise in the window. I went in one time, they had a DJ. They had a basket. Are we in Target? What the hell is going on in here? When you walk in customer service, a taxi, you like, can I help you? Like, oh my God, you can see me? <laughs> vibrator in my hand the size of a toaster that was diesel power. You know, I want you in my business, ma'am. They get to the cashier, they want your email so they can send you sales. I'm, I don't want no email for this nasty ass merchandise. <laughs> How about this? Email Diana Ross at gmail.com. Email her. Do not email me. <laughs> I have a lot of Caucasian girlfriends. The difference between my white girlfriend and my black girlfriends are huge because my black girlfriends, I feel like they're repressed. They don't talk about sex, or you're, we're kind of shy about it, we keep, we keep it kind of private. White girls, the ultimate oversharers. Oh my God. <laughs> my white girlfriend, I was like, look, my boyfriend wants to watch porn together as a couple. And she was like, porn? That's how I bought this house. Want to see some of mine? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I just want advice. <laughs> You know what's different now with men and dating? It's hard to, it's hard to get choked during sex. <laughs> is that too much? Is that, is that, I didn't have any segue, no transition. Because you know why? Most men are afraid of, you know, jail. <laughs> Back in the day, they could rough you up and you, everything would be okay. But now, like I asked my boyfriend for a little bit of choking during sex recently. And he's behind me. I'm like, okay, position. He's behind me. Perfect. His hand came around. But then it ended up in like a nice little gentle cuddle like this. <laughs> I'm like, you don't know the difference. There's a difference between cuddle and choke. You're not doing it right. I was, uh, I'm not ashamed to admit that with the dating problems and wondering about men, if somebody were to ask me, Jackie, you know, are you gay? My answer is usually, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. I'm still working on it. I'm still trying to find some in this area. I tried to be gay for a semester in college. Anybody else try a woman in college? <laughs> Way in the back. I had to leave because, first of all, women's bodies, very hard to figure out. There are a lot of hills, valleys, dark holes. Put my hand in the wrong hole, lost my class ring, a good watch. You gotta be careful. <laughs> Women, we talk a lot, we're very emotional. I tried another time and she wouldn't shut up. <laughs> the whole time she's like, oh my God, what are you thinking? How do you feel? What do you think? I think I'm gonna go back to dick. Oh my God, is this what it's like, gentlemen? Jesus Christ. 